What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the quarantine series. And today I want to know, is your CPU an overload? Let's talk about it. So you already know what it is. It's your boy J Fresh Beats and you know we gonna make it fresh back with another video and I want to know that one question is your CPU in overload mode so today we're going to figure out how to stop your CPU from overloading and this is how we do it now you might ask me yo fam um how do you know if your CPU is in overload well is your audio clicking and popping every time you try to make a beat dang fam how'd you know that your cpu is an overload fam so first and foremost before we get started let's give a shout out to our sponsors arc studios now if you've never been to arc studios it's okay because you're about to find out about it today arc studios is the one place where you can get in the studio you can get your photography done you can get your videography done and not only videography we also have a radio and podcast station so if you're looking for your shows to be on point if you're looking for your youtube videos to be on point or if you're just looking to get into the studio and just do what you need to do arc studios is the place for you if you want to find out about Arc Studios, go to the link below. The Arc Studios website will be there. You can do a contact form and they will reach out to you today. All right, now that we got the business side out of the way, let's get straight into it. Convert it to audio. I know a lot of people are just like, I don't want to convert it to audio because it's MIDI and I can change it if I want to. What if this note is bad? The set and third. Be confident in your creation. If you get to a point to where you're ready to mix, it's time for you to let go of that mini. Converted to audio is gonna save so much time on your CPU because it makes an audio file and it's so much easier to read the audio file than the MIDI file because it's using all those external plugins like Omnisphere libraries and contact libraries. So your CPU has to work harder. External hard drives. Now, I know if you're a producer, you already know, or you already have an external hard drive, but a lot of people are just using it for file storage instead of using it the way it needs to be. Now, this is how you do it. You create a folder with all of your files in it. I'm talking your audio files that you recorded. I'm talking your, your um, contact libraries, your Omnisphere libraries, and you all put them in one place. It's there so that the computer doesn't have to work as hard trying to read it off of its main hard drive. And last but certainly not least, file management. File management. Now you might say, what does that have to do with CPU? But I believe personally, if you have everything in one folder, the computer doesn't have to look in your shared folder, in your desktop, in your um, other library, in your hard drive, and this, that, and the third, and everywhere. The It doesn't have to look there, fam. So when you have a folder that's actually committed to the session, it's easier for your computer to work. Now, these are the tips and tricks that I use when it comes down to the nitty gritty of CPU overload. This is what helps me stop my CPU from overloading. I hope it has helped you as well. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, also subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section below. Is your CPU an overload or has it been fixed since you watched this video? Also, if you want to be notified every time I do a video just like this one to help your production, hit that bell. All right. Remember, life without music is a mistake, and he who controls you controls your music. Peace.